and welcome to Canon City Comic Club, a weekly examination of the most memorable storylines in comic books. I am your host, Tristan Cooper. Batman has a secret file on me and all my weaknesses. It's just punch me right in the face, and that's that's all it takes for me. Uh, also joining me today is Andrew Bridgman. Uh, what what uh, does Batman have on you? Uh, nothing, but I have lots of detail files on how to murder all my coworkers as well. Oh, wow. Uh, cool. Cool? <laughs> cool. Oh, no. Cool. Uh, fantastic. <laughs> HR uh, needs to talk to me. I got to leave, guys. Uh, Carolyn Page also here. Uh, do you have murder plans or are you being murdered? I uh, do not have murder plans. Batman's dossier on me is uh, being yelled at. Mm -hmm. That's. Can't handle it. <laughs> okay, I'll <laughs> I'll make sure to do that in case we ever become enemies. Okay. And uh, it'll be a yelling, punching match. That should be a lot of fun. Okay. What if Ross Al Ghul sees this video? Ross? Then he's gonna know. Ross? Raish. Ross? Ross Al Ghul? R Ross? Ross, Ross Al Ghul. I, Ross I from meant... Friends Al Ghul. Yeah, that makes much more sense. <laughs> it'll then. all be fine because his daughter is in love with me. Oh, okay. That's true. All That's right. True. All right, uh, this week uh, we are reading uh, Justice League of America, Woo! Tower of Babel, a uh, pretty well-known story at this point. Uh, it is uh, the first, kind of the origin of what I can tell is the now what is a trope about Batman having files on different Justice League members to defeat them in case they ever go bad. Um, that is more or less the whole story. There is, like, uh, as Andrew alluded to, a plot about... Ra's al Ghul, like, mixing up language and stuff, it seems to kind of, like, play to the background uh, as opposed to what is really center stage, which is the torture of many uh, members of the Justice League yeah, and the uh, the voting of Batman out of the Justice League at the time. Obviously, oh. he's in and out all the time. Is that what happens? I was so confused by the ending. Yeah, yeah. the <laughs> ending is... It's like, uh, Batman's such a good detective, he knows how Superman's gonna vote. He knows how everyone's gonna vote, and so he just pieces out. Oh, he leaves. Yeah. Okay, I was confused. I didn't know where we were. I'm not super familiar with the Justice League. But now I yeah. know, thank you. I'm glad we got that cleared up at the top. This story is uh, just, like, right in the middle of a run. It's issues, I believe, 43 to 46, uh, written by Mark Wade, art by Howard Porter. And uh, it, it just kind of continues on from there. And the story is well, well known. It's ranks up high in a lot of lists and everything like that. But um, when you get it like in a collection or a uh, like graphic novel form, there's a lot of other stuff around it as well. Mm -hmm. So if you just read those issues, say like we did on Comixology, mm -hmm. the context might not be be there. Context is important. We should back up just a <laughs> just a minute. <laughs> And do a little bit of continuity catch up, and uh, we probably who's, don't have to do. Who's this Batman guy? You guys who's this Batman about? guy? Here's the thing: is that like there's not a too much setup for this, because uh, in general, you know, the Justice League they have been around since the Brave and the Bold, and they fought Starro. Remember Starro? These everyone? are the only, these are all the things I remember about the Justice League. Everyone loves. Nope. The Justice. Is that League. a Pokemon? Starro. Uh, it should, should be. be a Pokemon. Uh, it's almost exactly uh, Starmie and Star yeah. You. You feel yeah. it from a Gen One. It's like a. It's like an uh, the, when they do the pre evolutions. Mm -hmm. It's like a, a pre evolution. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, but what is important to know is that, like, as I just mentioned, the the trope of uh, Batman sort of like having dirt on his friends as well as his enemies has kind of been played out in like several forms up up to now, mm -hmm. and I think. Like I could be wrong, but this these issues, which came out in the year two thousand, were I think the origin point of a lot of those stories. Sure. Um, later on, in like Forever Evil, like Batman has like a uh, a bunch of plans like for the various members of the Justice League that he instead uses on the uh, not the it's the Evil Justice League from another dimension, I believe it is. Cool. Injustice. In in it might be the Injustice League or the. Uh, the criminal just the crime stopper people. The crime stopper people. <laughs> Great name. Like syndicate. Good, I, um, I don't know. They Maybe. have a lot of different names for those. It might be the Injustice League. Uh, forgive me if I forgot. But they also did it in Batman Beyond, like yeah. uh, Batman's uh, an, ep an episode of like old Batman realizes, oh yeah, my plans have been stolen. <laughs> so that's, that's how does Batman not have a plan for if his plans get stolen? Um, I yeah, that's a that's a great question. <laughs> that's hubris. It hubris. hubris. It's hubris. Just like, yeah. is, I thought his whole thing was he plans for everything, huh? Calling yeah. you out, Batman. Yeah. 
I fight me. I yeah. don't have a lot of, here fight us. Don't fight me, please. I do have a lot of questions about the level of Batman's planning because that plays a lot into the story. So let's we sure. should just get right into the book breakdown. At the outset of the story, Bruce Wayne finds uh, his parents' graves have been robbed. Gasp! Huge gasp! And then, uh, he is to be clear, very uh, their their graves have been dug up and their corpses are just stolen. It's coffins. Well, yeah, they're, they're coffins. coffins too. Yeah, yeah. Like, they went all out. Yeah. Those are nice coffins, though. You should steal those. And this also brings us to the first instance of in this incredible story <laughs> of one of the characters in the Justice League looking shocked uh, in a way that Batman. made me laugh out loud. <laughs> like I'd never seen Batman make this face. I was cracking up because uh, I was like, I didn't know that Batman had like that depth of emotion. It is like a really wild, the specific time period of uh, of, of melodrama. Uh, this yes. art style from Howard Porter specifically is just like mouse agape. Like Batman is just yes. like, I can't believe I've got, <gasps> they, you know, comics are all about finding the exact <laughs> moment like of the the heightened drama, the showing that each panel is a specific moment in time, <laughs> and this is like Batman just losing his shit. Yeah, yeah, and that's the whole thing is like Batman's supposed to be the cool, calm, collected one, mm -hmm. and he is just constantly surprised, constantly Shocked. just like what? Yes, <laughs> like doing these ridiculous cartoonish faces, and it's ah! great. it's so good. It is uh, very comic booky because like. You know, it, you know, if Christian Bale or Ben Affleck did this, like, can you imagine them opening <laughs> their mouth? Like, <laughs> they do like Jim Carrey faces. <laughs> it's basically like Beaker from um, the Muppets. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> yes, it's exactly Beaker face. Uh, but like, I, I like, I like it how you can get kind of get away with it in comic books. You can kind of laugh and just keep going. It's like, oh well, it's Batman, so <laughs> you know, let's let's keep the yeah. train rolling. And it's nice for me reading really any DC stuff because I'm just like, yeah, it's good, it's fine, whatever. Mm -hmm. Whereas like Marvel stuff, I'm like, that's not what Wolverine would do. <laughs> this is, but you're wrong. You have less investment? I have less investment. Okay. So this is just like, it's great. Sure. It's yeah. just silly fun. Silly fun. Like when um, all the Justice League members are dismantled one by one in oh, the man. most terrible ways imaginable. They start Horrible. off with Martian Manhunter. Oh, and, they do, yeah. Uh, they like just shoot them full of nanites, nano machines, whatever. And Classic. it changes like his body chemistry to be like exuding like magnesium or something that just mm -hmm. constantly lights him on fire. Like if he's ever exposed to oxygen, so he's just flailing around a forest on fire. <laughs> he, uh, it's great. It, he is weak to fire. <laughs> That's that's his weakness. Yeah, a couple questions. Weak to uh -huh. fire. One, yeah. just to confirm, mm -hmm. his name is John Jaws. John Jaws. John Jaws. John Jaws. John Jaws. Yeah. Yep. John John. What's wrong? Cool. What? Just wanted to okay. make sure. Just clarifying. John, John Jaws. Ross Al Ghul. John Jaws. And John mm -hmm. Jaws. And he's weak to. He's from Mars. Correct. He's green. That is also correct. He's he is a shapeshifter though. But that is his natural form, I think. Is he like Beast Boy? Is he like a Beast Boy kind of one from? Kinda, kinda. Teen, yeah. Teen Titans. Mm, yeah, but he's not. They're not the of the same. But they're both green and shapeshifters. Correct. Okay, great. Yeah, yeah. And he's weak to fire. Correct. Very weak. Yeah. Why? Is he, uh, is he Martian. Checks Everyone's out. Weak to fire. This yeah, is crazy. That's a good point. This is crazy. Everyone's that's... weak. To, so, but it, how weak to fire is he? Very. But then he's. A he's lit. lit on fire and he's fine. He's he's, so. he's lit on fire this whole time and he, he's fine. Yeah, no, he's not, they like, put his him skin's kind of messed up or something. Oh no, it. shit! If I was engulfed in flame, my skin would be messed up too. Yeah, yeah. but he like recovers. So. Yeah, I mean, like Superman is fine with fire. Wonder Woman probably fine. I think it's like especially harmful to his biology, specific Martian biology. Sure. Also harmful to human biology. But yeah, I think he might out. be more fine. Let's see how Batman does on fire. Okay. <laughs> Let's see he's that. probably got some sort of like. He's got a plan saw, for being on fire. <laughs> I saw Batman forever. Okay, I know he's got a cape that he can yeah. put, used to oh, cover himself. His plan fire. is stop, drop, and roll. Yeah. Oh, that's right. That's just a good plan. That's a good plan. Fire safety is very important, and we here at Cannon City care about it. Stop, drop, and roll. <laughs> Perfect. Thank there you. There you go. <laughs> uh, so, and then also, uh, Plastic Man is in the mix, and usually yeah. pretty hard to deal with because uh, he's very uh, plastic. He's plastic. He's very malleable and like yeah. very powerful. Even though he's like got, he's like basically Deadpool 
Well, in a lot of he's ways, Deadpool he's Deadpool plus goofy. Mr. Fantastic. Yeah, which is yeah. a good combination. He, I was not aware that Plastic Man was really a thing at all, <laughs> and I was pretty taken out of the. Uh, that was really took me out of the comics. So I was yeah. like, "Who the fuck is this guy?" Like, <gasps> wow, making yeah. crazy faces. The, now he can do a good shocked face. The rumor, or like the thing that constantly gets bandied about on the internet, is that Ben Schwartz is going to play Plastic Man in the movie. Oh, oh that I, I would see that. That's pretty good. Be pretty like, good, right? I like me Before some that, it was Jim Carrey in the nineties. Yeah, it's gonna yes, be Plastic were... Man. It was going to be the Wachowskis. It was gonna. Direct. Oh yeah, they had that script. Yeah. Oh man. Oh my god, just for a Plastic Man movie. Mm-hmm. Oh, let's see that. Yeah, yeah. Instead, we got Speed Racer, which I'm also finding. good. Yes, also, also good. good. See also it on acid good. if you can. It's <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> yes. Uh, Do that. <laughs> Go take some acid. <laughs> and then stop, drop, and roll. Also, or do, do just all if those you things. You think you're, you're gonna on do fire? Anyways. Stop, drop, and roll. Yeah. Just make sure there's no dangers around you. Yeah. So while this is all happening, well, 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 Plastic Man gets turned to ice and shattered. I, I sent, he, yeah, he's frozen and shattered. And then Aquaman. Aquaman is hanging is, out with him. Is hanging out. He gets fear toxin, <laughs> so he's afraid of water. Oh the thing God. that he needs to live. It's like you being afraid of air, basically. Yeah. I uh, did. I didn't know that Aquaman had to stay damp to like survive. <laughs> yeah. And it was so. This was so fucking stupid. <laughs> And then also, no. I don't want. He's a fish man. I so. know that he's originally blonde, but not my Aquaman. Sure, only Momoa sure. for me. He did have like the long hair and the cool beard. It wasn't like old seventies Aquaman with like you know the Ken doll the, the Ken doll haircut yeah. and everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. nothing uh, between the legs, you know. Yeah. <laughs> what? Well, Ken. That's the Ken doll. Oh, mm-hmm. oh. <laughs> Never mind. Oh God! Now we're talking about okay. Aquaman's dick. Oh no! See, oh. I was trying to avoid this episode. <laughs> it's his lack of dick. It's yeah. Like, see, I, I'm dick. going the opposite track. Here. I will say that I think these weaknesses, specifically playing to the specific time period, the year 2000. So we're still working with a lot of legacy characters created in the 40s, 50s, 60s, especially mm-hmm. DC. So they have like these very like basic weaknesses. A lot sure. of like Silver Age, like 50s, 60s stories about Aquaman were all about all about him like like trying to just get one drink of water or else he dies. And same thing with Martian Manhunter, not in the mix as much uh, in that era, but like just fire. It's like, oh, kryptonite, fire uh, needs water to live. And keep it simple. Keep we're keeping it we're keeping it simple, but this story like manages to like uh, use those weaknesses and like capitalize them in the worst way possible. Which when you later learn that Batman is responsible for all of them, just uh, is pretty brutal. Yeah. He really went a little overboard in a few of them. Just, just a smidge. Do uh, uh, I go into Flash? Oh well, well we're not getting oh. to Flash quite yet because we still have to go back to like what what is happening out in the world at this moment sure. is uh, Ross Al Ghul is uh, basically using a tower to sort of like jumble all the words in the world. Yeah, uh, it's sending out a signal that like makes everyone see uh, all written language as mixed up. I think they specifically say it gives everyone dyslexia. <laughs> Which right? Like, I don't uh, think that's how dyslexia works. But. Fine for never a better time to be blind or illiterate. Oh yeah, yeah. illiterate people have got to be just cleaning up. Like a lot, and they yes, this would obviously be a huge problem. But mm-hmm. I don't know if society would like. They had some pretty good examples of like quickly. the you know, ambulances. Yes, the and airplane like guys. Like yes. we can't read anything anymore. You gotta like, fly <laughs> on instinct, man. Mm, mm-hmm. That doesn't. That doesn't. No, I'm. Uh, and like the so. doctors and everything, like giving people like pills, and like I, I think this is the right pill. I don't know. That would be bad. Yeah. Yeah, that's some bad. pretty bad shit. Probably. Yeah. Right. It'd be yeah. Bad. Words uh, are important. Um, yeah. Not for illiterate people though. Not for don't not read for the kids. Illiterate. If you don't <laughs> take read, take acid then, and don't read. Yeah, Ra's al Ghul can't hurt you. So, <laughs> Ra's al Ghul, was he that wrong? He loves well, he's animals. He's got the Thanos what? plan. He's got the Thanos he plan. Does where have he does. He wants p- to like, the oh, there's too many people, and they're they're bad for the planet. I, so yeah. I get... wanted to no, I wanted to hear this this defense of Ross Al Ghul's plan. I just feel like right at the top, we're introduced to a man who loves tigers. He does love tigers. How bad can he be? Oh, okay. I mean, he's Mike like, Tyson loves tigers. Not great. That's a good point. Okay. Which but makes bums me out so sad. If so Mike hard Tyson because... were to scramble all language for Earth. Then how would you feel about him? Not good. Still, also, still not good. <laughs> all the bad stuff still. Yeah. 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 All right. That's fair. And Razal Ghul's daughter, 
Talia. Talia. Talia Al Ghulia mm -hmm. mm -hmm. is, <laughs> is name. in love with Batman. She, yeah. yeah. Her beloved. Gotta... She says my beloved a lot, which yeah. is weird. They both have their, their little pet names for Batman. Uh, Ross Hoggle says detective, calls him detective. Which I really like, being yeah. reminded that Batman is first and foremost a detective. And also like brutal torture, this slash well, detective. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Didn't he have a kid with Talia? Isn't Damien Talia's child yeah. too? Yes, yeah. I believe so. They had a, they had a kid so does Batman children. love her back? Does he like yeah. her or just like like her? He's like cat, he's like, she's like another Catwoman kind of. What a player. Yeah. On and off, like. Kind of. It's a burning hot relationship that yeah. you know, flames out pretty quick. Yeah. 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 Don't that, let Martian Manhunter as... near it. Oh my God. That's true. <laughs> uh, so Batman should be able to fix everything very quickly because he's Batman, but uh, he finds that uh, Ross Al Ghul is the one responsible for taking Batman's parents. Yeah, he's very distracted by this. And it has them suspended <laughs> over the Lazarus pit, which would revive them. At what cost? Would it though? Like they've uh, been yeah. dead for like thirty years. There's yeah, nothing left. Yeah, no, it'd be fine. Is are they just skeletons, I or is it like a retroactive I, DNA thing that somehow brings you back to a, a certain specific age of your DNA? Uh, would it restore the pearl necklace? Uh, okay, I think it would, and I'm just making this up based on mostly nothing, just comic book logic. Well, it's I think it would the return Lazarus. them to the their state they were when they died. Oh, ah, okay. So they'd be. Almost the same age as uh, Bruce Wayne. Weird. At that point, that would very be very weird. That would be very weird. Um, also, they, they would probably not be in their their right mind. They would probably be twisted or evil in some way. The Lazarus Pit usually messes with you pretty good. So okay, that's oh. fair. Um, so, but what I did want to point out about this scene in particular is Batman's face is aghast oh. Ag oh! again. This image of Batman with his mouth open is a meme by itself. Like someone oh, has seen that. I I have definitely seen it in other places. Do you uh, know like, what a meme is, Andrew? No, I don't you know, know what a it? meme or Batman is. So this it's is like, a very enlightening. It's yeah, like one comic book panel. Yeah. Oh, for for, for so comedy. So it's not panels. I should call them memes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this that chapter issue two, I believe it is, is called Seven Little Indians, which is not great. Uh, it is reference uh, to the film Major League. Yeah, I mean, it's. I think it's a <laughs> reference to the uh, Agatha Christie story Where's of that? the same name, which is also not great. Uh, uh, I don't is, read books, so it is, is it, a twenty-year-old story. But go ahead. Is it like all other Agatha Christie stories where everyone did it? Oh yeah. I mean, only Bat Batman did it. Oh. Oh well, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that the, which is what we know, like. At this point in the story, it has not been revealed that this is what is happening. Yeah. Uh, but all the covers to all, all of the comics are all just like Batman, just like messing with people, like standing over dead bodies, and like, puppetry. like puppetry, and it's like obvious as to like what is going to happen. If you are reading this, if you are keeping up with the comics at the time, you will see all these covers ahead of time and say, "Oh, oh obviously, I know what's coming. Like, when is it coming?" Sure. Uh, which is like, which I found very weird in the story. Yeah, because it's like it's not very self-contained. It's uh, it's very self-aware in that way, I guess. Mm. If that yeah. makes sense. Mm. So you wanted to get to the Flash's torture. The Flash's torture <sighs> is great. It's a very good torture. Okay. Uh, it's not great for Flash. No. And it's very no. weird that like Batman didn't come up with a way of like stopping him. It's like ah, oh, his feet are heavy now. Yeah. And he can't <laughs> run that fast. <laughs> mm -hmm. Instead, he came up with a a bullet that mm -hmm. puts him into light speed seizures, mm -hmm. uh, which we later find out like, to him, time dilates or slows down to mm -hmm. like an impossible level. And he is in like this hell wanting to die for what seems like weeks. And right. it was actually like a couple minutes. Yeah. yeah, it was like 20 minutes. Yeah, and he was like, oh, there's some days I wanna just die, I wanna kill myself. And they're like, you were there for 20 minutes. This one was so fucked up because all the other like tortures are kind of like, like very silly. Like you can't have water. You're afraid of water. Yeah. Or like Wonder Woman, like you're trapped in a fight with a with an opponent. You know what I just realized? Like Batman was able to manipulate the fear toxin to be specifically afraid of water. Like he was able to nail down the exact fear it would give him. Well, I think it's your it's your greatest fear. I think he right? like, maybe. Well, why not just do that for Flash? I'm like, oh, you're afraid of running now. I'm like, well, okay, he's just gonna not run. 
That's a good point. Why wouldn't he just do that? That's oh, you're afraid of running now. Point. So like he's disabled. He's like, the opposite of Sonic. Well, he's like yeah. afraid of going fast. <laughs> he just I th- gets a sco- <laughs> rascal scooter he takes everywhere. <laughs> I think he could have easily used nanites or nanomachines for everything. He uses it for, as we discussed, he uses it for Martian Manhunter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He also uses it for um, the uh, Wonder Woman. Wonder VR Woman's chip. like thinks that she's uh, like fighting someone in like VR more or less. So. Oh yeah, and his and Batman's like st- uh plan for Wonder Woman is like we'll just make her have a heart attack. She'll <laughs> yeah. just fight until she just gets tired herself. and like yeah. pops. Yeah. 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 Bas- basically, why don't they just use nano machines for everything? It right. feels like just make everyone afraid of the thing that they're good at though. Then they're just like, well, I just can't do that. And like no one else will die like yeah. Aquaman those big. Like, well, I'm just not going to fight anymore. I will I'm say I'm afraid of fighting now. I will say Green Lantern gives off pretty easy compared to everyone else. Yes. He's blinded by also nanites. Oh, no, it's hypnotic no, suggestion. No, it's hypnotic because like, the ring is making him blind. Sure. Yeah. yeah. That one was not great for me <laughs> because like I maybe I don't understand how Green Lantern's powers work, but just like he can still imagine things, right? right. Yeah, yeah, but like I guess without that like focus... That he like you know if you're suddenly blind you're not used to it it's harder to like do that I guess I feel like that would be very good for the Flash as well the yeah blind the Flash yeah sure. if you don't know where he's running like just, so he's bumping the walls and stuff just gouge everyone's eyes out when I just gouge time. Everyone. <laughs> I like that's very Batman's easy. master plan <laughs> his master plan for everyone is just like an ice pick and yeah just jabbing into the eyes mm-hmm. like yeah Batman didn't spend a lot of time on these plans <laughs> just like Equus <laughs> Batman's like, oh god do, do that Batman should do Equus I think sure. Mm-hmm. The Flash's uh, torture was really horrific, and it was like so yes. so real, and like that's that's a real thing that afflicts people, and yeah. it's like extremely horrible. Well, it's like worse though because he's having them at light speed. Yeah. So that was bad. Uh, and again, that's like it's again like Flash having like thousands of seizures at light speed. Uh, Green Lantern uh, can't see yeah. for a few it's minutes. It's like that. It's not his plan wasn't to disable the Flash. It was like right. I want to torment the Flash. Right. right. Like I want to see him in pain. Well, Same. it seems like the Flash is very, very powerful. So he needed yeah. to sort of come up with something that is equally powerful. Just do misery and break his legs. Also, and powerful. make him write a book. Also powerful, Superman, who gets his oh, yeah. skin turned translucent. <sighs> okay. Yeah. This was another part of the okay, story that no. made me laugh out loud yeah. because I was just like, "What?" It was so, <laughs> and it's so horrific. And also, we get to see Superman just like, "Ah, wow!" Yeah, he does not look great without skin. No, Superman, keep your skin, buddy. Yeah, don't get rid of it. <laughs> it's like when he tells him not to get bangs. Yeah, like don't That's don't true. get your skin translucent, dude. When it's not gonna look he good. He tells you not to get bangs. Many people told me not to get bangs, for, and like I don't believe them. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I think I'd look great with it. I think you would would also look great with bangs. <laughs> with this exact haircut with just bangs coming out, like Zooey Deschanel. You kind of have bangs. You can just put them oh, forward. Yeah. I'm exactly like Zooey Deschanel, mm-hmm. I think. What yep. do you guys think? Zooey Deschanel? Yes. Zoe? Zooey, right? Zooey? Zooey. I don't think is a I name. don't know how to pronounce anyone's I name. I can't believe you've gone through life saying Zooey. Zooey. Look how it's spelled. Google Zooey and but, see what you But get. you sound like like some sort of animal fan on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I'm a, we're called zoo uh Zoo-ist? zoophiles. I okay. Think. Okay. Right? That's oh, that's probably a sexual thing. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of what I was alluding to, I <laughs> it guess. Sounds but. like an illegal sexual thing. <laughs> Listen, it is spelled Z O O E Y. Okay. A lot of yeah, things are spelled. Yeah, just a lot like of the ways. name Zoe. What how is Zoe not spelled with one O? This is an important. Okay, cancel the rest of the, the the video. This is what we're talking about. Uh, Fine with me. Okay. There yeah. aren't there Zoe's with like one O though. Yes. There's Zoe's with no Y at this the is, end. It's, is, it's 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 fine. Oh, like Zoe Kazan. Yeah. Exa- exactly. <laughs> yeah. The person you were thinking of, whoever exactly. it is. Zoe Kazan. Please, can we stop talking about Zoe Deschanel and talk about skinless <laughs> Superman? Yeah, let's talk right. about for, Superman for one skin. second. Skin. Uh, so from what I could tell in the story, like they basically said that oh Superman gets his power from the sun, yeah. So let's make his skin translucent so it can't suck up any of the power of the sun. Instead, his no, it, it sucks up too much power. Too, too much power. Over- overloaded with power. Oh, I see. Couldn't control it. Like his senses were all off. Okay, so uh, he's basically being like burned, kind of. Kind he's of. being overloaded, right? Which and this is so funny because Superman has. A very well-known 
so well known that it's part of the just zeitgeist uh-huh. of American culture. Uh-huh. Kryptonite. <laughs> That's already a thing. Yeah, they don't Why need not to like go with that, it. Batman. Like he, because Batman specifically didn't want to kill him, and he's worried like, well, regular kryptonite will kill him. And here's the weird part: is that they saw Batman's red kryptonite and didn't take it. They're like, we're going to develop our own red kryptonite. But he is kind of trying to kill them because Wonder Woman's plan would eventually <laughs> kill her. Yeah. Yeah, he specifically says like he doesn't want to like kill Superman. So but he's willing to su- kill everyone else, but Superman is the closest Superman thing he has best to a friend. friend. So he's got to be nice to him. That's cute. It is I like cute. picturing them just like doing friend <laughs> things. Like let's have a picnic. I like he envisions like having to kill every all of his friends except Superman, and Superman will be fine with it afterwards. Like, well, I'm not going to kill him, and he's going to forgive me. Yeah. Uh, at friend. this point in the story, I Batman know. hasn't uh, Batman hasn't admitted guilt yet. No. These things are just happening to the superheroes. Some some goons are in the mix as well. Like they are uh, freezing Plastic Man and shattering him. Yeah. Um, but at this point, Batman realizes what's happening. He he tells all the Justice League, "Hey, P.S. It's all my secret files. They were stolen, and they're being used against you." Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> also, Sorry, I really am super busy. My parents are maybe <laughs> gonna get brought back. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. So that you know, everyone's pissed, but like, why did Christian Bale use that voice in the Batman movie? Yeah, hey, hey guys, that would be a better disguise, I think. Like, swear yeah, to no me, one would expect that swear to me. Swain. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hockey pads. So, uh, oh my god! At this point, I think the the jumble. Which I completely forgot about. Like during the middle of the story, it's like, oh yeah, the world is all jumbled up. Yeah, because uh, it's the Tower of Babel. That's the based on the biblical I love story. The Bible. Yeah, you know the Bible guys. Are you, any of Past. you familiar with this story? Pretty good. Yes. Could you? Could you? The Tower of Babel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, fucking people were all living in a big old tower, and they got too kind of powerful. Okay. And then they're trying to build it to God, right? They're trying to build it to heaven or something. Some shit. I don't know. And then, so God was like, you guys are getting along too well or like making too much progress. Uh So now everybody, or like not worshiping me enough. And Uh so everybody now can't understand each other. It was Mm -hmm. cool Old Testament God when he would just be like mean as shit all the time. Yeah, and then make you fuck your dad in a cave. Yeah. Read the Bible. It's in there. Read the Bible. New Testament God is so lame. They like totally nerfed him. Not cool. <laughs> he doesn't like try to trick anyone into killing their kid and go psych. Yeah. yeah. Like what she does in the Old Testament. Yeah. He just kills his own kid. Yeah, he just kills his own kid. And then he's like, oh, you get to come back. It's nice. It is kind of messed Boring. up, like, depending on the interpretation uh, that you have of the story, which is kind of like all over the place. So basically, a bunch of people get together. We're going to build a tower, a very tall tower, possibly, probably to the heavens, yeah. right? And uh, God's like, no, actually. Uh, um, actually? Uh, actually, I'm punishing <laughs> you by uh, making one language into like a bunch of different languages, and then it's, it's, it explains why there are a bunch of different languages on the planet. Um, the 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 story does anyway, and why we but, have the Babel fish, right? Exactly. The, awesome. the punishment seems uh, pretty terrible, as you as you said, Old Testament God, kind of a dick. Also, but depending on who. You, whose interpretation you were following? Like they built the tower very tall because God, at that point in the in the Bible, had just flooded the earth. Yeah, they were like, oh, uh, we should uh, build the tower to maybe not get flooded again because that would be a good thing. But they weren't listening to God because He was like, guys, I promise I won't destroy the <laughs> earth again by flooding. Wink. And that's what firestorms. <laughs> that's true. But that is kind of it. Kind of like reflects like what Batman is thinking at this point. Why he has. Batman's very afraid of God. He's very afraid of God. He's also very afraid of the same thing happening again. Because like previously, uh, yeah. the Justice League has been mind controlled a lot. They, right. Yeah, they Batman's mentioned... like whole thing is like very understandable. I think. Yeah. Like they get you know mind swapped or yeah. controlled or whatever constantly. All the all the time. They did it with Starro. The first issue that the star the starfish attached to your face and then they control your body. And they mentioned in this story, Starro's an actual starfish. Starro's an actual starfish. I gotta, I gotta go read this. You, this sounds awesome. We'll watch the, You could read it, or you could watch the the Justice League cartoon. They have a Starro episode. Ooh, okay. Pretty good. Okay. Pretty good stuff. Okay. Uh, and they also mentioned in the story that this another miniseries that Mark Wade wrote called The Silver Age, 
there's a bad guy called Agamemnon. Agamemno? Agamemno, I think. Uh, How about Agamem? Yes. I, Am, Agamem I right? yes. Yeah. Am I right? Takes control of other people. So Batman is thinking like, well, obviously in case any of this happens again, I need to have individual plans for taking down uh, the Justice League, and the, I'm not going to use nanites or kryptonite on all Note of them. Note to self, no kryptonite. <laughs> <laughs> Too easy. <laughs> Alfred, remind me, no kryptonite. So he divide that 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 is his reasoning for devising all these plans because um, kind of like as as Andrew said, like kind of rightfully, like this happens all the time. Yeah. And, and uh, you know, continuities change. Um, the t- the passage of time in comic books is not exactly clear all the time. Like what story happened when and what time. But yeah. we us having read all these stories know that it happens constantly. Yeah. So right. uh, you know, our position is kind of siding with Batman because like. He seems like also, he has it together. he's the only one on the team with no powers. Mm-hmm. Like, he is at a huge disadvantage if shit goes wrong for all those other guys because they all got superpowers. Mm-hmm. And, like, he's the only regular dude who's like, well, my only power is I'm kind of smart, mm-hmm. so I better use that. Batman is so cool. He is cool. <laughs> I lo- guys, <laughs> I- I'm going to take This is a hot take. I love Batman. Batman's good. Batman and Old Testament God, two coolest characters in fiction. Where's that story? They... Well, that's the thing, though, that is that <laughs> Batman, like, is not a god compared to he's on a team with gods, yeah. and he tried to build his own Tower of Babel, I guess, to prevent being flooded again, and he is, as we will later see, punished for it. Sure. Yeah. Um, also, I really thought I was on Batman's side reading this. I was like, why is the whole team mad at him? And then now talking about... Uh, Flash getting tortured like that. I'm like, no, that was a dick move. He went a little too far with a couple of them. Yeah. Like when he could have just like, ah, uh, you got concrete on your feet now. You can't walk as fast. <laughs> I like that this is your solution. Just make him slow. Put concrete on his feet. I don't know. Flash can't run that fast. You like, can vibrate through things. If you, Listen, I don't you can know become intangible. anything about the Flash. <laughs> he could have done it in a, in a more reasonable way. Like one of Flash's enemies is Captain Cold, right? And yeah. like, if you freeze someone's molecules they can't go as fast yeah. that's the comic book logic anyway so he could have froze them so he, he could have done what he did to plastic man yeah yeah he could have done that. but he, he, not even his whole body just freezes his feet You're like, well good or luck ma- now or make him also blind or in, make a, him in blind another way <laughs> <laughs> or anyway, tie his shoelaces together. so like in between all nice. this like Ross al Ghul's, like plan to like jumble the Earth's language eventually goes to speech like very briefly before yeah. they just blow up the tower. Everything's fine except for Superman extremely mad at Batman for having his skin being like uh, <laughs> translucent and for having tortured like everyone else uh, yeah. on his team. Okay, when they go to Superman's translucent mm-hmm. man temporarily, yeah, and then. They go to. They know where the tower is. Mm-hmm. They go to find the tower, yeah. and then Superman's skin is not translucent anymore. It's, he got better. He got the. But what I missed? There was like I kept flipping back between that one page where he was like translucent he, and then not translucent. He, he just, recovered. It was just wearing off, I guess. Like they don't. They don't do a good transition where they make it clear. I was so confused. Eventually, yeah. they, they once Batman tells them about the the countermeasures, he basically. They basically figure it out and one by one sort of like repair everyone like Aquaman for a little bit. And then um, uh, <laughs> what Martian Manhunter wears like this big water suit as yes. well, which is pretty, it's pretty sweet. Yeah, it is. That was cool. pretty cool. I really liked Plastic Man's ear surgery on yeah. Wonder Woman. Okay. That just felt like, what would that feel like? I think yeah. it would be cool to have like. He sticks, he, your, he makes his finger very that small. Way. Yeah. And just like. Pokes it right in there. Oh yeah, I think that would feel wiggles good. it in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you ever have your ears flushed out at the doctor? No. You just have. Is that an option? Yeah, that's an option. If you have a lot of earwax, I don't got that insurance. Of water so you do that, and you just flush it all out. It's the a water? Very, yeah, you Where use does it water. Go? The water will it comes back out with all of your earwax. Would it shoot out your nose? Where yeah. you put it on one side, it comes yeah. out the other. Yeah. Like like a because like, there's no brain in between no. for me. No. <laughs> Do you ever see those videos? They're like they're like a sister video genre to the pimple popping videos, in that they are uh, all about getting like lots and lots of very hard earwax like out of your ear. Ooh. No, but I did go through a phase where I watched like a lot of bug removal. Oh, Ooh. that's a, yeah. That's I'm not into that. I'm like, give me the wax. Give me this hard wax of so bugs. No thanks. This is all live bugs. Sick. Live bugs. Dead bugs. Uh, 
live mostly. Okay. Yeah, okay. sure. Sure. Yeah. I get that. Yeah. I'll send okay. you some. Uh, so, uh, don't send thank me. You. <laughs> okay. So, uh, again, the Ross Ogul storyline resolved very quickly. Martian Manhunter just like picks up, picks up uh, Bruce's parents and just like puts them aside and yeah. says, uh, everything is fine. <laughs> and, and it feels like this. <laughs> Hush uh, now, Batman. The, everything is fine. Your parents are still dead. It's okay. The villain story seems very perfunctory, uh, compared yeah. to like the actual inner turmoil of the story, but. Which is a shame because, like, so much of the story is spent on, like, just the action, 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 like, uh, torture, torture, torture. Yeah. And then the most interesting part of the book to me is, like, the last, like, four pages of, like, the last uh, issue yeah, the in, which, in which all the Justice League is like, hey, what do we do with Batman? He just fucked everyone up. Like, yeah. is he still in the league? Yeah. So they decide to have a vote. They go back and forth. I was wondering, like... If you, let's say you were the Flash, that's probably the word we decided yeah. was who got the the brunt. Yeah. If you were the Flash, would you vote to dis- to vote out Batman? How does he vote in the book? He okay. votes to keep him. I think Wally votes to keep him. Well, he's yeah. like, oh, I'm kind of new, so yeah. I don't want to be too mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wally was too. A plastic man definitely not happy about any of the situation. Yep. Wonder Woman also not happy. Yeah. Yep. I would. Vote to keep him, I think, because you were, got like days and days of seizures. Well, I don't know. That's never happened to me, so I couldn't. I couldn't give say. you a couple days of light speed seizures, and then we'll. <laughs> then we'll Whoa! Um. Whoa! <laughs> hey guys. Uh, I, I don't know. Like, if I was a Flash, I'd probably like vote to vote him out because because I'd be voting with my my heart as opposed to my brain. If I was yeah. Green Lantern, Green Lantern votes to keep him in. Yeah. And uh, I mean, if I was Green Lantern, I would probably say, I, I feel fine. I, we probably need to be stopped. <laughs> you know, Starro could come back at any time. I'd yeah. vote to keep him because you definitely, but also you'd have to sign up for some real team building mm-hmm. days. Oh, yeah. yeah. You need to go yeah, on a retreat. Do some trust falls. Trust yeah. falls, yeah. camping yeah. retreats. See, mm-hmm. I, I would kick him out because I don't like this guy anymore. And. <laughs> I would replace him with someone who's like a, a loser, nerdier Batman, who's like would come up with plans also, but mm-hmm. like much lamer plans yeah. that like still like stop putting us. Putting concrete, yeah, on like putting concrete. Feet. Like don't torture all of us because Batman's got this weird torture complex yeah. stuff going on. Clearly, you want and, Detective uh, Chimp. I want Detective want. Chip. Is that like Detective Chimp. Pikachu? Yes. It's, I want it's Detective a, Pikachu. It's a detective that uh, wears like a little Sherlock Holmes outfit. I want Mariska Hargitay it... from Law and Order to be on the team. Nice. Yeah. She'd be good. She'd stop everyone. That's But she'd fine. be like, she has empathy, so yeah. it'd be okay. I would like to assemble a Justice League of from different crime shows. Yes. Okay. Just Law and Order ones, even. Sure. You know? That'd mm-hmm. be good. Sure. Rizzoli and Isles. Rizzoli and Isles. Mariska uh-huh. Hargitay. Uh, Bosch. Bosch. Ugh. Uh, <laughs> N- enough. <laughs> let's let's uh let, we can end it there we've got to we got to move on because uh by the time everyone decides like what they uh, decides on their votes batman is already gone because he's already figured out that everyone's going to vote him out they've he's systematically gone down the list like you're you'll vote this way you'll vote this way superman he's going to vote me out but this is why people make mistakes sometimes your friends torture you that's true without meaning to mm-hmm. they mm-hmm. did it to protect everyone yeah. Yeah. and the justice league they need they they they've got fucking bigger problems than this infighting sure. you know what i mean yeah. they're earth's defenders mm-hmm. and they need batman he's a fucking genius all the rest of these dumb assholes running around fucking yeah. fighting each yeah. other batman's looking out he's thinking about he's thinking ahead if he had better security on his bat computer i'd agree yeah. But the fact that he like he didn't really bother, put a lock lock screen on his like bat a, phone. Yeah, a lock <laughs> screen if he had like a single security camera in the bat cave. Like sure. he took he he left a lot of holes in his plan sure. that yeah. allowed for this to happen. Uh and at the end it's clear like he didn't learn any lessons. Yeah. You he's, know? He's he, hard to He still he prob- thinks he's right. He'd probably do it again. He would hundred percent do it again and he's learned nothing. And so and how many times has the Batcave been broken into, too? A lot. A lot! And so, like, okay, <laughs> That's yeah. That's true. He was like, this has happened before people have been mind-controlled, but 
the back gate, it'll be fine. Totally secure. <laughs> no one could ever break in there. You know, what would, what would be the thing that would mess me up most personally? If someone stole my parents, eh, it'll be fine. They'll be fine. <laughs> That's I'll probably leave, not going to happen. I'll leave the real corpses in their real grave <laughs> just because. <laughs> Well, that's his weak point. I, I kind of get it. I, I guess, but he's le leaving his weakness out in the open. Not very Batman. True. Not very bad. That's so not Batman. Mm. You got to cremate. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Basically. Uh, so we're getting we're wrapping up here, but before we before we uh go, I do want to go over our panel picks for this week, which is uh you know every week uh, we like to pick a book, and each of us have selected a, a special moment or sequence from. A the book itself that sort of like is our favorite little moment, favorite little joke, favorite drawing, or maybe something that uh, encapsulates our feelings about the book as a whole. I personally, I'll go first here. I chose a moment um, while Batman is like infiltrating uh, the Al Ghul's hideout. He is, you know, confronted by a bunch of henchmen, and then later we see the henchmen say, "Hey, Batman got away, and we're sorry." And then Batman just sort of like takes off this ski mask and he's got his fully formed bat suit underneath. He's got the cowl. Yeah, he's got the yeah. cowl. The underneath. ears. The ears like come out of nowhere. And Spring. I thought it was it was very good. It's like very like peak Batman. Like obviously, yeah. obviously Batman is there. Yeah. And obviously he's got this perfect disguise and his full suit underneath. Like it was so easy to just not have the cowl. It would have been way easier because like they were talking to him. He should have had like little pointy things coming out of his head. Yeah. Yes, he and he didn't, uh, and he could he didn't need to wear the bat suit. Obviously, no, he <laughs> he also didn't need to like peek out of the mask when he was walking away because someone could have been walking by and be like, hey, wait, <laughs> that's a You're good point. Batman. They're like, what? Oh, mm -hmm. it's like, oh, no, 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 it's, no it's fine, it's fine. This guy is weirdly jacked. Like he's got like this muscle suit <laughs> underneath his normal ski suit, and like the ski suit's very tight, so it should be lumpy as hell because like the cape and you the cowl. And you should be able to see like the the bat signal like oh, on his chest. Oh yeah, like, just like, see <laughs> it right out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I don't know. That it kind of encapsulated a lot of like the very goofy <laughs> like pulpy stuff in this story. Yeah, uh, that was a nice comic at, at heart. Moment. Like even though like it kind of like pushes a lot of characters to their limits in a lot of ways. Uh, it's also just like a very campy, silly uh, comic book story that was yeah. still enjoyable for me. Uh, Andrew, what was your panel pick? Uh, this is one we talked about. It's uh, the uh, face. Uh, uh, you'll have to be more specific. Okay, at the very beginning, yeah, because he makes a lot of them. It was the first one, and that's why it took me by so much surprise. Okay, okay. Uh, like, the first couple pages are about Ross al Ghul, mm -hmm. like, setting things up very ominously. Mm -hmm. Playing and then with tigers. A, playing with tigers, mm -hmm. murdering people, his normal stuff. Yeah. Uh, and then it cuts to uh, the graveyard. Yeah. And Batman's walking up to the graves. Mm -hmm. uh, you see it from afar. And then you just see uh, him drop his roses, mm -hmm. uh, kind of like when Martha had her pearls fall. Wow. Oh my God. Wow. Uh, and you just see the most cartoonish, ridiculous <laughs> shock. He's like, ah! <laughs> and it's just hilarious. It's like the funniest way to open the book. Like it's supposed to be very like shocking and dramatic, yeah. but it just looks stupid and it's great. I love it. That's I, it. What I do like out of everything that we have talked about so far is that everyone has given their own Bruce Wayne face. Yeah. Let's <laughs> I, do it I'm all just, at the same time. Okay, I'm you ready? Just, I'm just noticing now that it is on the back yeah, of the book. Yeah, I've been staring at that the whole time. <laughs> ah, like his oh. eyes are like cartoonishly. It's like uh, the guy... Was it the guy in Police Academy who could pop out his eyes? Uh, no, the guy in Caddyshack. 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 Well, the Rodney the Dangerfield. Guy who... No, it's not Rodney Dangerfield. Rodney Dang or someone with his bow. There was someone in the eighties. There was someone in the eighties who 70s. could pop out their eyes. Yeah. Uh, and it looks like that guy. Uh, Carolyn. I don't like that. Pop out your eyes. You yeah. guys talking about bugs and earwax before? Yeah, yeah. eye poppers. Anyways, your panel pick, Carolyn. My panel pick was also ah, a crazy Batman face. Nice. And um, the, it was when he also to do with his parents. Mm -hmm. It's, it's when his parents. his parents are being lowered into the pit of Lazarus. Mm -hmm. Maybe and Ra's al Ghul is like, "Hi, an evil guy. Listen to my plan." Mm -hmm. Real classic. Real classic stuff. Mm -hmm. It's the language, but that's Bible too. This guy loves the Bible. Sure. This guy loves the Bible. Yep. Uh, lots of <laughs> lots of writers love the Bible. But like Ross Al Ghul is doing both these things, and he just loves the Bible. I guess. There's other mythology out there, people. Yeah, and it's on. also cool. Read another book. Read, Read another Potter. book. Yeah, <laughs> he's like Jesus too. Okay, kind of. He's exactly like Jesus, but richer. He's much richer than Jesus. 
and a cool and teen. And he becomes a cop. Sure, yeah, he does become a cop. Anyways, <laughs> um, a it was just so joyful to see Batman and Superman and all the Justice League characters just being like, oh, whoa, so shocked. Yeah, they're yeah. very, like, they've got stage faces like very up close. You know yeah. what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. Uh, so uh, would you recommend this book? I, I thought it was a really fun, good time mm -hmm. Charlie story. Mm -hmm. So read it. And eat some old timey candy for an old good fashioned comic y time. <laughs> sure. What well, about you, Andrew? Grammy Grammy Page's recommendation. <laughs> I thought it was good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I got nothing else. It was, it was pretty good. Like, yeah. yeah. And it and talks about the Bible, which is also good. Read the Bible, too. Uh, yeah. Read the Bible. Only Take the acid Testament. and watch Only Speed the Old Racer Testament. instead of reading the Bible. You'll Read get more the out Old of it. Testament while on acid and complimenting my bangs. I also just want to apologize if I've offended anyone's religious sensibilities today. That's not really my place. B believe what you believe. Just don't hurt anybody. Tristan? Okay. <laughs> uh, can't top that, but I will say, as opposed to the... <laughs> in regards to this very silly comic book, I thought it was fun. And it uh, was very creative in its way. It's, like, very cute now. Like, now that comics have gotten, like, so, like, grim and gritty and dark and, like, they've one up themselves so many times that, like... Everything's like very serious and like seeing like Flash have seizures over and over again. It's brutal, like objectively, but also like I've read enough comic books to say, oh, that's, that's all right. His face isn't getting cut he's, off, so this is not sure. as dark as it's going to get yeah. later. What I, what I do like is that it has permanent repercussions and they have that nice little uh, button on the end where they all like vote about like, hey, this is a messed up thing that happened in our lives. We should talk about it and do something, as opposed yeah. to just mm -hmm. like moving on to the next story. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, which is nice, and it also gives like some larger context for um, uh, Batman as a character and like him doing this in other media. It's kind of cool to see like basically more or less where it came from. Yeah, uh, because uh, this trope has also been used in other comics, like Aquaman. Like Aquaman had like written up plans for like uh, the destruction of the the overworld, the land land world and they were stolen and used by a uh, ocean master what's his name from uh the movie uh patrick wilson yeah oh, yeah i think that's who uses it in the comics he makes all the land people afraid of water also yeah. <laughs> it's like it's kind of fine yeah <laughs> like oh well that won't get, i just won't go in the water then uh, and a lot of comics i think like the when you go back and see like the first like story to do something it's kind of like tame compared to like Things that came after, but like sure. I think this is held up a lot, a lot better than some some of the newer ones. And a lot of the newer ones, it's like uh, in Forever Evil, Batman's all all of Batman's uh, gear is just like a kryptonite ring. You know mm. what I mean? It's just like very simple. It fits in a box. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, and these are are very creative, and I and I and I appreciate that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so that about wraps up our time here. Thank you so much for joining us, uh, both uh, my team here, Andrew and Carolyn, and uh, and you at home. Also, yeah. Thank you for being here. You're the real heroes. Uh, make <laughs> don't lie to them. They're not. We all know they're not. Uh, make sure to tune in next week. We are reading uh, X Men: The Dark Phoenix Saga. Woo! Ahead of the film, it uh, should be a rocking good time in every respect. Yeah. yeah. Back to some real comics. X Men. It's the comic they made after the last stand. The adaptation of the last stand. Right? Oh, okay. Is that what we're reading? That's what I'm assuming, right? Okay. <laughs> I think that, so. That's the dark. That's where the dark phoenix started. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. That explains a lot. All right. Uh, well, until <laughs> until then, uh, re read along with us if you'd wish, and uh, we will see you in the funny papers. Hey, if you like this, be sure to check out Dropout.tv, which is by far the best way to support Dorkly. Yeah, you can see Dorkly shows a week early there, like this one, Today in Nerd History, and Table Pop. It kicks ass. There's a ton of other great shows like Dimension 20, Troopers. Those are some of my favorites. I also love them, actually. They're great, and you can watch them all for a week for free. You get a free trial for a week when you sign up for Dropout.tv.